bed is actually quite a bit taller than my old bed because I used to be like down here and now I'm like up a little higher. Um, it's been a while since I've recorded like this, but I don't want to make this like a big, huge production. I just want to like, I feel like you guys are so kind of invested like in like my life and my family and my pets that I kind of in a way like owe it to you guys to like explain oh geez everything so there's gonna be probably a lapse in videos and it's because for a few days I didn't record any day in the life videos I didn't record anything I didn't want to like I didn't want anything so about I would say about a week ago now maybe not that long maybe like six days ago it was after we got back from camping so I guess like last Tuesday Caliber started shadowing me and being really clingy and it's it's kind of unlike him he's a very um Kind of like an independent, not a touchy-feely, like he has a bubble. Sometimes I'll let you scratch him, kind of a dog. Like he's just, he's not, he's not really, um, he's just, that's just how he is. So, sorry, I'm getting a couple of texts. I have a friend who's really sick that I was talking to just a minute ago. Um, anyway, so he was acting like that. And it kind of tipped me off. I'm like, what's going on? And the only thing I can think of is like, maybe something's going on with Gage. Maybe there's like something going on with one of the kids. Maybe he's feeling a little off, like something, something was definitely different. Well, the next day, Gage seemed really tired. Like he was just tired. And I can't, I've tried to explain it in other ways because I haven't, I haven't really told everybody, I haven't really announced this. I haven't shared it with anybody, um, with very many people at the, my family, a few family members and a few friends know about it, but um, otherwise this is the first time I've actually really talked about it. So I'm hoping I can get through this because it's been quite a few days and that I can do this without completely bawling my eyes out. So, because I, I feel, I'm very confident in my decision, so I feel, I feel good about it. But Gage was acting really tired and he, he wasn't waking up at his normal time. Like he was usually up by eight every morning. He would wake up, so he'd start waking up between 7.30 and eight and you know, he would be, kind of just happy and like ready to go for the day and I'd give him his pill. Um, mind you, he's been having, he, la this month last year, like the day before Thanksgiving, he had his first seizure. So um, I'd give him his pill and we would do that. So I had to wake him up for his pill. Well, he, he still went for his walk. Everything seemed kind of normal. He just seemed a little tired. And this was now, you know what? Yeah, this was now Halloween and he was just a little more tired than normal, but I didn't think anything of it because we'd gone camping the weekend before, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now the next day, so we're now on Thursday. And on Thursday, he was even like a little more tired. And we went for our run in the field and well, you know, the walk basically. So we, he did his stroll, I, you know, Caliber ran, I did my thing, I put him back in the car and he almost fell out of the car. Like I caught him, like he just like lost his balance. And I'm like, what the heck dude, like that's weird. And earlier that morning he actually walked into like a step stool, which was strange, but you know, sometimes things catch us off guard, but didn't think that much of it. But the car thing was definitely interesting. So he did that. Friday, this, this happened so fast. Friday, um, I took Caliber for a walk. Gage didn't really feel like going, but like later on, I'm like, oh, you know, he's still acting really tired. So he's sleeping a lot, like a lot more than normal. I'm having to wake him up even more for his pills, but he still has like a little bit to him. Like he's, you know, he's still being lovey. And um, I took him for a walk in the front yard and we just like walked down to get the mail. And, you know, he sniffed around, he used the bathroom, I cleaned it up, don't worry. And um, he peed and he just did his thing. And then he came back to the house and he went back to bed. So that was Friday. Saturday. Okay. Now, mind you, there's a few other things that he's doing at this point. He is, he's kind of like lost his coordination. So he'll be standing and he'll just kind of like, kind of sway a little bit or like, you know, go to forward and then try to like catch himself. Um, he was having kind of a hard time with like his, his just his coordination was off. Um, you know, we have like a deck in the backyard, so we'd let him outside and it was like kind of hard for him to get back up the deck and down the deck and things like that. So it was a little hard. Um, and then he did this one thing. So between our chair and like our end table, and then there's the couch, we have like a clear trash can and never before has he tried to like cut through that spot, but he was trying to do that. And I'm like, well, this is odd. And he's also started doing this thing where he's like twitching kind of my boyfriend described it as like, kind of like little micro seizures. Like, He's just kind of like, like just like weird twitches, like, like the little pieces 
like little flashes of like what his seizures would look like when he has like his full seizures. Um, so I'm kind of like, well, that's really strange. Now my saying all along, and I think I'm sure I've probably said it in here somewhere a thousand times, maybe I don't know, but I say it at a ton, is that I mean this last year's been really rough. He's got fatty tumors all over his body. I don't even know what other kind of tumors he has going on. They suspected maybe cancer because of the rate of growth on some of the tumors, um, but they weren't exactly sure. And to check it was pretty invasive, and I didn't want to do that to him. I've always said when my dogs turn 10, that's when I'm going to stop doing these big, huge, elaborate procedures and surgeries, and I'm just going to continue to make them comfortable and happy. So Gage is 13. Um, he, so he had all that going on. He had the seizures. And now he's like kind of losing, he's kind of losing his mind just a little bit. And I could see it. And, you know, for the first few days, I'm kind of just like, maybe he's just really tired. Maybe, you know, he just is under the weather for some other reason. And then Saturday comes around. So we're on Saturday now. I took my kids over and I told the kids on Friday, I said, hey, give Gagey a lot of extra loves. I think our days are numbered. So I, I knew like deep down, I was in complete denial, but I knew deep down that his body or his mind or both were shutting down and that he didn't have a whole lot left in him. And, you know, you, you've got this like thing in the back of your mind where you're like, oh, but maybe, you know, maybe tomorrow he'll perk back up and like, you know, we'll just get back, back to normal and things will be normal again and he'll be okay. And then there's the other part of me that's the logical like I feel like as if I'm like a typically very logical person. I'm very factual. I'm very open-minded. I'm very good at seeing things from all perspectives. And there's this part of me where I'm like, he's 13 and a half years old. He has a lot going on, obviously in his brain, his body, everything. We don't have that much time left with him. I feel like I got spoiled. And to be honest, I mean, for the last year, I've just been... Every morning I wake up, I'm like, is he going to wake up? So I know it's coming. I knew it was coming. So Saturday morning, my boyfriend's home. Okay, so Friday, actually. My boyfriend been gone for a little bit. He was home Friday morning. He left for work, and I said, hey, I need you to come back home and tell me if you think it's time. Like, I need you to come back home. So, I mean, he's like... Ah, I need a different word other than tired, but tired is like the only word that I really have to explain the way he was acting. Like he was just, he was just out of it and twitchy and tired, really, really tired. So I had my boyfriend come back home. He's like, well, he's using the bathroom. I'm like, he's using the bathroom. Great. He is eating like fabulously better than he's ever eaten before. He's drinking just fine. Everything else seems normal. It's just this. So he's like, well, you know, as long as he's happy. And I'm like, that's true. So Saturday morning, he doesn't wake up at time on at normal time. And he's we're in the kitchen and he gets up at one point and he like rams into a cabinet. And my boyfriend saw it too, and he was like, Okay. Um, you know, and, and we're like, we're okay with it. And he goes and he lays back down. He started this thing where like his eyes were just like watering down his face. And I've, they've been a little watery lately, like the last maybe four, three or four months. And usually they would just water after seizures. But on Saturday, there was just like a constant stream and they're just pouring down his face. So I'm like, okay, well, that's really weird. I'd never seen that before out of him. It's just different. And I went to take Caliber for the run, our normal run, because you guys know, I mean, you guys follow my videos. I take the dogs for a run every single day. And well, almost every single day, there's like one, two days a month where, you know, just, just doesn't happen. But mo for the most part, they go running every single day and I couldn't, he wouldn't wake up to go. Like even before, like if he was tired and didn't want to go, he would just kind of be like, like, oh, like and his ears would perk up, he'd start to stretch. Nothing. He had no interest whatsoever. Oh, also on Thursday night, we went to our friend's house for dinner and he didn't, he wouldn't wake up to go. But that has happened before, so it wasn't like my final straw. I'm like, not like, this is crazy. It did happen about two months ago where he didn't want to go. So it wasn't completely crazy, but it was definitely, my friends were like, okay. Um, so they kind of knew. And they're the friends I'm really close with, the ones who are in my videos with me and like, you know, watch the dogs whenever I go anywhere and vice versa. So 
Anyways, um, so I tried to get him to go for a run and he wouldn't wake up and I just sat there on his bed with him and I just lost it. And I took Caliber for a run and I went out into the middle of the field and I just hysterically, hysterical, I can't even think about it, cried because I knew, I knew, and it was like this with Cannon too, you just, you know, and you can, you can think whatever you want for a long time, but when it's time, like you just, there's no better way to describe it than you just know. And I knew it was time. And that realization that it was time was really hard for me to cope with. And I came home and my boyfriend knew and, you know, we, we, we knew. And as, as my boyfriend described it, he's already, he was already kind of gone. Like he was mentally gone. Like the gauge that we all loved and knew he wasn't there. And that's just, that was when we knew it was time. So, um, I had taken the kids to their dad's house on Friday night because I had a feeling that it was probably going to be the weekend, but I didn't, and I didn't want the kids to be there. I had Drake with me when, um, Cannon passed away and that was really hard. There were a lot of questions and it was a very, just, I was not, probably not one of my better parenting moves. Granted, he was, how old was he? Three, two, three. So I didn't think he'd remember. He remembered. So don't do that. Um, so I had my boyfriend with me. It was his first time and he, it was really hard on him. So if you guys know, I talked about it before. My boyfriend was never like a dog person. My dogs have made him a dog person. He loves them and it really, really showed. And thankfully he was there and he and I were both there for Gage and we were able to really be there, but it was just, oh, it was time. So Gage passed away Saturday and whew, that's hard to say. Oh my gosh, I've done so well this whole video too. Um, oh, I've been trying, I've tried to be so factual about it that it's easy to talk about, but saying it, it's still, it's still so hard to believe. So hard. I got gauged when I was 19 years old and I'm almost 33. <laughs> so he has been with me. The reason we bought a house is because I really wanted a dog. We bought our house. We closed on our house. The next day I found Gage and it was just meant to be. And he, oh, we just had that like deep, like soul connection. You know how sometimes you just have that with people or pets or I'd never had that before. And Gage was the first one. I mean, Gage saw me through college. He saw us through buying, you know, selling our house and buying a house and getting married and having kids. And he saw me through my divorce and that was the, oh my gosh, it was amazing. So it's sad that I've lost that, that connection with him, like that I've lost. It just, I swear we just read each other. We knew each other and we were like, he was like my best friend. There's no other way to describe it. So, I'm really, I haven't, I still have moments where, you know, I feel like he's with me and I like to believe that he is. And that, like last night when I was making dinner, I realized like he's not here. It's just Caliber. It's just us, poor Caliber. Oh gosh. I feel like he's so sad. My boyfriend's like, kind of always looks that way. Not sad, but I'm just, I don't know. I told the kids Saturday night. I called them. They were at their, you know, dad's house. So I called, I told my ex and I, we told them together over the phone. And, um, I bought Deacon some bottle rockets not too long ago. Sorry, this is so long. Um, but I bought Deacon some bottle rockets and I didn't want to, I didn't want to light him off. Like, I don't, I don't know why I never did it. I just, we didn't do it. So I sent him over to his dad's house because I know how much they enjoy those kind of things. So I sent over that activity for them to do. And, um, they painted it like in memory of Gage and they sent him off and they said, you know, for Gage and the kids said they were chasing around the rockets, you know, in doggy heaven. And it's just, it's just hard. So when I saw the kids, Deacon's doing okay. Drake's not. Um, it's really hard. So, anyways, I felt, felt like I needed to share that with you guys. 
I'm probably not going to talk about it much anymore. Um, maybe I will. I don't know. It's so hard. It's so hard to, to cope with and believe that it actually happened. And I'm so thankful for my boyfriend. Oh my gosh. He, <laughs> I saw a side of him that I didn't know existed. And it made me realize, I mean, truly how important he is to me and how amazing he is and our relationship is. And I'm so thankful. Okay, I'm going to go blow my nose. Whew. Okay, I told you guys I've been dreading this video. I've waited days to do it. But, um, so yeah. Anyways, if there's a lapse in videos, I need a tissue. If there is a lapse in videos, that's why I don't really know if I'll... If I'm going to be able to jump right back into them or I don't, I don't really know. I'm really trying to just not stress about anything but whew, coping and grieving and yeah. So anyways, better, better. I don't know when I'll have a dry eye day. It's been, it's been about five, I think, where I've just really break down at one point. So this makes number four today. <laughs> oh God. And it's not even noon. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you soon.